What's up guys and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I am your host Jonathan Barkington and in this episode we're going to be talking about uh, kind of getting the full control over your volume and this is going to apply for rooted Android devices. You're going to need an application that is going to be this Viper for Android FX and I am opening it up for the first time and this is what you're going to be greeted for so it's going to ask you to install something. So from here you can go ahead and pick what kind of audio preferences you want super audio, high audio quality, and power saving. So if you have a smaller device or a device that has a small battery, you might want to go ahead and do that battery. Uh, or if you kind of had a day where you tend to run out of battery on your average day, you might want to pick that up. I am going to do super auto quality. Uh, it's going to need at least a dual core CPU. It may speed, may battery, may drain. Do you want to continue? Actually, I'll go ahead and do probably, I'm going to back out of this really quick. Open it back up. Should we ask me that? Yes. I'll do high quality. Why not? There we go. It's been granted. Driver, please reboot your phone. Okay. I don't know if it's going to do it automatically. No, it's not. All right, so that's fine. So what we're going to have here with the Viper for Android FX is you're going to see where you have the phone speaker. So that's going to be just your standard phone speaker. If we go over to the left side, that's going to be your headset. The right side is going to be for your Bluetooth devices. So it's really neat the fact that we can go ahead and change the equalization and all that type of stuff directly for each device we are working with since each speaker or each sound quality coming out of say a Bluetooth speaker, your phone speaker or your headset is going to be completely different and there's no way we should have to keep coming in here and rechanging everything. So that's kind of a cool thing. Uh, you're going to notice on the top uh, you need to make sure you enable it on the very top when you do want it enabled. Uh, you can force it in the bottom, you can do your playbacks. Uh, you can go ahead and go into the pre-selects, change it to just something that's kind of already done, or you can customize it yourself and adjust it by tapping the big screen and moving the bars exactly where you want. The cool thing about it is if you move one and I keep and I go across the screen by sliding my finger, it will adjust to wherever my finger goes. So I could go up and down and up and down, you know, everywhere. And it takes care of it very nice. So it's easy, very easy to control, very, you know, enjoyable for that. Uh, you want to come down here now and we're going to be able to change it to, you know, surround sound. Uh, if I look at the normal speaker down here at the very bottom, if you need to make it extra loud, you can do that as well. Uh, what I do want to recommend though is be extremely careful when you're doing those extra loud because it can blow out your speakers and you can get that uh, crackling sound when you get the music in. Um, another thing you kind of want to, you know, take into accountability is probably that uh, you might want to kind of... Uh, try the pre-selects first. That way, if you are in certain settings, you might be able to get away with just changing those easily. Um, but besides that, the customization, you know, you need a little tweak that, know how to use an EQ to be able to do that. It's pretty easy. Uh, you just gotta kind of play with it, get your bases right, and you know, your treble and all that type of stuff. Uh, there is bass booster as well. Uh, I don't believe the bass booster is on here on the speaker, but on a Bluetooth device, there's a bass booster. And there's a bass booster for headphones as well. Uh, it does work. I've used plenty of Bluetooth speakers in which I've enjoyed all that. And it actually really, you know, as long as you have a decent quality speaker, it works out really, really well. So that's pretty much it when it comes to getting, you know, your full control, uh, being able to raise the levels, uh, lower the levels of your speaker and your sound quality on your Android device. Now, remember, you do need to be rooted for this to get Viper for Android. You can just, you know, Google search it, find it. Uh, you should also be able to find it in the exposed modulars. So if I come into mind, oh, it's not actually exposed modular. Yeah, so it's going to be a Viper. I, you might have to flash it. Uh, so to flash it, you're going to, I'm not 100% sure you got to double check on it all. I just installed a ROM and it came pre-selected with my ROM. A lot of the newer ROMs kind of have this installed as long as the developer's, you know, putting in some cool little stuff with it. Um, but you may need to flash it, so if you find it it's, and it is a zip file, that means you need to, uh, when you're rooted, go into your, your recovery screen, um, go press install, uh, go find the zip file, and you can flash it that way. It's the same way as you can do uh, other cameras, and you know, if you have a Samsung phone, you can flash the LG or the Sony Xperia camera. Um, and that's it. So, you know, I'll put a link in the description. I'll try to do a Google search, see if I can find it for you guys. Uh, the reason is that it just might change around. Uh, chances are you can head over to xdadevelopers.com and find it there, as well as, uh, you know, if you need any help with your specific device. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you guys next video.